Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to study theorems on tangent line. Theorem If a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So paliwanag natin yung sinasabi sa theorem through illustration. So dito sa may right side, sa bad ng baba, ayan, si line AB, ito po si line AB, tangent siya, okay, to circle Q. So ang binabanggit dito, so kung ito daw ay tangent, yung point of tangency niya, pag nag-drawing ka ng segment that connects the point of tangency and the center, which is actually the radius, si tangent daw ay perpendicular sa ating radius. So, yun po yung sinasabi dito sa theorem. So, line AB is perpendicular to segment RQ. The tangent to the point of tangency is always perpendicular to the radius. And if that's the case, kung perpendicular siya, right angles ang mapoproduce natin. So, si angle ARQ at saka si angle BRQ, they are right angles. Maliwanag. Next theorem. If two segments from the same exterior point are tangent to a circle, then the segments are congruent. So kapag daw meron kang dalawang tangents sa iisang exterior point, dito kasi si point W ay iisang exterior point ng dalawang tangents, then these two tangents are congruent. So yung makikita nyo po dito, they are actually tangent segments. No? Uh, papaliwanag natin definition na yan sa mga susunod natin na lesson. So in the illustration, if DW and GW are tangent to circle E, then DW or segment DW is congruent to segment GW. O, yun lang po yung sinasabi. No? dito sa ating theorem. Now, apply natin yung theorem with these examples. So, in the illustration, line AB and line AC are tangent to circle E at points B and C. So, si B, point B at si point C, point of tangent C. So, in this, in this illustration, gagamitin natin to para masolve or uh, sagutan yung mga sumusunod na to. Okay, number one. Segment AB is perpendicular to what segment? So, si segment AB, eto siya, di ba? So, sa ngayon dun sa theorem natin, of course, it's perpendicular to the radius drawn to the point of tangency. So, ang sagot natin sa number 1 is segment EB or segment BE. Maliwanag? So, kung si segment BE at saka si segment AB perpendicular, ano po yung mapoproduced? Yes, you are correct right angles. So, ibig sabihin, si angle A, B, E, anong klase ng angle? Yes, it's a right angle. Next, number 3. The measure of angle A, B, E equals blank. So, binanggit na natin sa to na it's a right angle. So, kung right angle siya, ang measure ng A, B, E is of course 90. Another uh, Number, we have number 4 is segment AB is congruent to blank. So, di ba si segment AB ay tangent, tama? At si AC ay same, uh, another tangent from the same exterior point. So, ibig sabihin, si segment AB at saka si segment AC congruent. So, the answer is segment AC. Maliwanag, applying the theorem kanina. Number 5, angle ACE is a blank. So, si AC, paalala, si EC at saka si segment AC perpendicular. So, si angle ACE is of course a right angle. So, I hope na intindihan yung part na to. We did apply the theorem kanina. Okay, next set of examples. The same illustration, uh, line AB and line AC are tangent to circle E at points B and C. So, for number 1, if AB equals 4 centimeters, find AC. So, pakita po natin. Ano? So, hindi ba, dun sa may theorem kanina, si AB at saka si AC congruent lagi yan. Di ba? 
So, kung si AB ay 4 cm, of course, si AC, 4 cm din yan. Kasi congruent nga yun, di ba? Next, number 2. The measure of angle ACE. So, uh, si ACE, eto po yan. O, hindi ba, sa theorem kanina, si AC perpendicular kay EC. So, ibig sabihin, matik na ito, 90 degrees. Kasi right angle. So, the answer is 90. Next, number 3. If the measure of angle AEC is 50, pakita natin, nasa si AEC? So, si AEC, eto daw, 50 degrees. What is the measure of CAE? Ang CAE natin, eto. So, paano po natin makukuha yung angle CAE? Take note na si uh, ACE ay triangle. Sa so, dati nating mga lessons, nung tayo ay grade 8, grade 9, napag-aralan natin na ang sum ng lahat ng interior angles ng isang triangle ay 180. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagawin ko is, pagpa-plusin ko si 50 at 90, so 50 plus 90. So, that's equal to 0. 9 plus 5 is 14. Tapos, yung sagot, isusubtra ko sa 180. So, 180 minus 140. The answer now is 40. Okay? Kasi, di ba, pag pinag-plus-plus ko to, itong angle na to, plus yung angle na to, plus yung angle na to, lagi siyang equal sa 180. Ang sum ng mga interior angles ng isang triangle, 180. So, para makuha ko to, yung remaining na to, Pagplasin ko muna to, which is 140, tapos isubtra ko ko from 180. So therefore, the measure of angle CAE is equal to 40. Maliwanag? Next. For examples, number 4. If AB equals 4 cm and BE equals 3 cm, what is AE? So mas maganda, isulat natin mga given. So alam natin na ito perpendicular. Tama. So, right angle to kaagad. Si AB, 4 cm. Huwag muna natin lagay yung unit. Ano? Si BE, 3 cm. Ano daw ito? Si AE. So, since it's a right triangle, pwede natin i-apply yung tinatawag na Pythagorean Theorem. So, dito, yung AE is our hypotenuse. Tama. So, ang hypotenuse natin, ang C natin is... AE, hindi pa natin alam. Tama. Ang A natin, ang A natin is 3, ang B natin ay 4. Tama. Sa ating Pythagorean Theorem. So, ang Pythagorean Theorem is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Naaalala pa ba itong formula na to? So, C squared equals, ang A natin is 3, so magiging 3 squared. Ang B natin ay 4, so plus 4 squared. C squared equals, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. C squared equals, 9 plus 16 is 25. So, kunin mo lang po yung square root nito. Yan. So, therefore, C is equal to 5. Ibig sabihin, yung AE, gamit si Pythagorean Theorem, is equal to 5 centimeters. Ang tawag natin dyan sa ginawa na yan is the Pythagorean Theorem, which is applicable kapag meron kang missing side sa isang right triangle. Maliwanag? Next, number 5. If the measure of angle BAE, so si BAE, nasan siya? So si BAE, eto yon, tama? 56 degrees. Ano daw ang measure ni AEB? Si AEB, eto yon. Take note, ito 90. At ang sum ng mga angles na to ay 180. So, ang gagawin ko para masolve ko si 5, uh, pagpa-plusin ko muna si 90 at saka si 56. 90 plus 56, so this is 6, this is 14. Yung sum, kasi diba ito, ilan na lang natin tira para maging 180, so isusubtra ko na lang yon 180 minus 146. So, ito magiging 4. This becomes 7. So, this is 3. So, therefore, the answer is the measure of angle AEB is equal to 34. So, nai-apply natin yung mga previous lessons natin ng grade 8 and grade 9 with our topic today about angles and uh, arcs and tangents of the circle. Maliwanag? 
Next part, let's discuss common tangent. A common tangent is a line that is tangent to two circles in the same plane. So, kung meron kang dalawang circles, tapos merong isang, is, isang common, uh, isang tangent, o isang line na parehas tangent sa kanila, ang tawag natin doon is the common tangent. So, halimbawa po nung itsura po nun, halimbawa meron kang dalawang circle, ayan, tapos meron kang isang line dito, ayan, di ba? Yung line na to, tangent dun sa isang circle, tapos yung, isang, yung same line, tangent din, tangent din sa pangalawang circle. So, ang tawag po dyan ay common tangent. So, another example. So, halimbawa, ganyan po yung ating illustration. Ayan. So, provided po na, ta na tangent po dun, ano? Ayan. Ito po yung circle. Na-intersect niya po ng one point. So, ang tawag po dyan ay common tangent. So, what are the kinds of common tangents? Ang kinds po ng ating common tangents ay number one, common internal tangent, and number two, common external tangent. So, paliwanag po natin yung pagkakaiba. Kinds of common tangents, number one, common internal tangent. Common internal tangents intersect the segment joining the centers of the two circles. Number two, common external tangents do not intersect the segment joining the centers of the two circles. So, para mas maintindihan natin yung mga binabanggit na terms dito, gumamit tayo ng mga illustrations. Okay, number one. So, number one is a common tangent. Common tangent po yung nakikita nyo po dito na line. Ito po si common tangent. Ayan, yung line po na yan. Pero anong klase siya ng common tangent? It is a common internal tangent or a common external tangent. So, paano malalaman? Ganito po ang gagawin. Pagdudugtungin nyo po yung dalawang centers ng circle. Ayan. Dahil pinagdugtong nyo po siya, kapag daw po yung uh, line connecting the centers nag-intersect dun sa may tangent, therefore, the tangent is a common internal tangent. Pag naman daw hindi na-intersect yung tangent nung uh, line of center, Ibig sabihin, common external tangent siya. Now, sa nakikita po ninyo, yung red na line, broken line, na-intersect ba yung pinaka-line? So, of course, hindi. Dahil hindi na-intersect, it is a common external tangent. Maliwanag? Next. So, another common tangent. Ayan na naman po ang common tangent. Is it a common internal tangent or common external tangent? So, pakita natin. Ang gawin natin, pagdugtungin natin yung dalawang centers. Ayan. So, napansin ninyo, dinaanan ng line of center yung ating pinaka-line, yung kulay black. So, dahil nag-intersect siya doon sa tangent, therefore, it is a common internal tangent. Clear? Another example of a common tangent. O, yan naman po. Common tangent yan kasi tangent siya sa parehas na circles. But, is it a common internal tangent or common external tangent? So, para malaman, ayan, pagdugtungin natin, since tumama dun sa may pinaka-tangent, dahil tumama siya, it is a common internal tangent. Next, number four. Another example. Is it a common internal tangent or common external tangent? Let's join the centers of the two circles. Now, as you can see, hindi naman tumama or na-intersect yung pinaka-tangent line. So, therefore, it is a common external tangent. Number five, is it a common internal tangent or common external tangent? Let's join the centers. Yan, it does not intersect the tangent line. So, therefore, it is a common external tangent. So, again, pag common internal tangent, it is a common tangent na Nag-intersect, pag pinag-join yung kanyang centers, mag intersect doon sa may tangent. Pag naman common external, hindi siya mag intersect doon sa may pinaka-tangent line. So, I hope na intindihan ang common tangents, common internal tangent, and common external tangent. So, that ends my video. Thank you for watching.